Now that I've already covered in a separate video how to set up the user accounts on Windows Home Server, as well as I have covered how to configure computer backups, computer backups are probably one of the biggest killer features of Home Server. Let's talk about the next killer feature of Home Server, the shared folders and uh, what all of that means. So there are several ways to access the shared folders. You can either access them through the regular network um, PC navigation, so you just go on to TS Mini and then you can browse all the folders available on the home server there. Uh, the setup wizard also creates a shortcut on your desktop to your shared folders on the Windows home server. And then the last uh, most common way is to access it through the uh, icon in the bottom right. So you just click shared folders. So once that's open, you can go ahead and uh, browse all of, the all of the folders that are automatically created by home server and find your way into the user folder. So I'm in the Linus folder where right now there is nothing, but I'm going to go ahead and show off the speed of Windows home server. Now bearing in mind that home server is running on a, a feeble Atom processor, so this isn't exactly a speed demon computer here. Home server does not need a whole lot of resources to run wicked fast for file serving. So you can sustain about 80, 70 to 80 megabytes per second with large files. So I just copied, how much is this? 467 megs to my home server in just a couple seconds there, which is a pretty nice feature. So let's do another 360 megs and uh, yeah. So that took about four or five seconds, which is terrific. But that's not all. But wait, there's more. Right here, you can see I have duplication enabled for the Linus folder. So what duplication means, I'm gonna go ahead and go into properties here. So here we go. Here is the name of the Linus folder, the description for the Linus folder, and enable folder duplication. I have two hard drives right now in my Windows Home server. If I go into the server storage, I can see right here I have two identical 500 gig drives. And what duplication does is you can see right here the shared folders are 137 megs and duplication is 137 megs. What it does is it takes everything in a duplication enabled folder and makes sure that it is always on at least two physical drives within the home server. That means that if one of my drives dies or is removed or is struck by lightning or whatever happens, my data will be safe. Now that doesn't mean that home server is completely immune to things like virus infected files. It's not going to fix problems that you cause, but if you are in danger of a physical failure causing you to lose your data, Windows Home Server will protect you in 99% of cases. Now the duplication is not a hardware RAID solution, it is more like a software RAID solution. So that means it is not real time, but it's fairly close to real time. I've actually had several drives die in my home server, which I have about six hard drives in right now, and I have never lost an important piece of data. That means I've never lost any data in one of my duplicated folders. Now I did set certain things like the public folder to not be duplicated, and I have lost files from there, but I don't care about those files. So that is the other huge, huge feature of Windows Home Server. You can also add other folders, like you could say, uh, oh no, I'm in users, whoops. You can add folders, like uh, let's say this is the expendable folder. Okay, I'm not going to enable folder duplication because I don't care about this data. I can configure it so that any guest has full access and Linus has full access to this folder. So this is just gonna be some random folder. That means that the data in the expendable folder will not take up double the space because every meg I write to Linus is gonna be actually written two megs to two separate drives. Expendable will only write one meg to one drive. So it means it takes up less space, but it's also less safe. Thank you for checking out my video on Windows Home Servers, shared folder, and duplication features.